Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're gonna to talk about several different uses for foam core board. Foam core, poster board, cardboard, foam board, whatever you wanna call it, this stuff is incredibly useful and there's so many uses when it comes to video and photography. Now you can pick this stuff up pretty much anywhere, office supplies, Walmart, Target, uh, anywhere. There's several different sizes. A lot of people have told me that they pick it up from dollar stores for a buck instead of paying more elsewhere. And for colors, I'm only gonna be talking about black and white and the various different uses. So let's go ahead and jump right in with our first use, and that is to use white poster board as a fill. So actually just to my right here, camera left, I'll move it out of the way so you can see the difference. I have a piece of white foam board that's being used as my fill. So I'll move it out, no fill, fill. And I have it right here, you can see, I've just got it clamped onto a stand and that's filling in this side of my face, very, very simple. I also use scrap pieces of white to make little fill boards, and I'll use those for product photography and getting B-roll to fill in a product a little bit. And if you wanna see examples of that kind of lighting technique, check out the video on my IKEA product booth setup, where I do a lot of different little pieces of fill. And a little goes a long way, surprisingly. So I've got a little piece right here, and I can just bring that in makes a big difference depending on where you position your white foam core. Another great use for white foam core is using it as a bounce source. So as an example, I did a little shoot over in the B-roll area and I took a piece of white foam core, mounted it above what I was shooting, hit the surface with two lights on either side and it gave me this really nice soft light. You can see more examples of that in my $500 LED kit, and you could use that kit or my $250 LED kit to get some really amazing soft light product footage. You could easily apply the same technique for a key light. You would just want a larger source to bounce your light off of. Another great use for foam core is using it as a flag. So if you have light hitting something you don't want to hit the light, simply mount this on a stand and you can do a pretty decent job blocking that light from hitting whatever. As a quick example, I'm holding a piece directly to my left, looking at my monitor here, and it's flagging my key light so it's not hitting the background as much. I'll go ahead and remove it, and you'll see the difference. So great cheap way to control the spill of a light source. I also use foam core a lot as backgrounds for small product B-roll footage. So at my bench, I'll usually put a black piece in the background and it blocks all the random stuff on my desk and gives me a nice flat background to work with. Alternatively, you could put it underneath products for a black or white background to give you several different look options. Our final use for foam core is creating cookies. I talked about this a little bit in my paper backgrounds video, and essentially you can take a large piece of foam core, cut various different shapes out of it, shoot a light through it onto your background, and you get something a lot more interesting than a flat light hitting your background. So experiment with different circles, shapes, all kinds of different stuff, just using a utility knife and cutting those out. And it's pretty amazing what you can come up with. So there you go, five different ways to use poster foam board when it comes to shooting videos and photos. Let me know if you think I missed any good tips and I love to hear how you guys use foam board. Um, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.